This is the weekly prayer time from Northview United Methodist Church for the week of July the 25th. I'm Pastor Doug Sasser. Our scripture this week comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verses 1 to 21. After this, Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up to the mountain and sat down with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near. When he looked up and saw a large crowd coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Six months' wages could not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of the disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they among so many people? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down, about five thousand in all. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were satisfied, he told the disciples, Gather up the fragments left over, so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up from the fragments of the five barley loaves, left by those who had eaten. They filled twelve baskets. When the people saw the sign that had done that he had done, they began to say, This is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. When Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. When evening came, the disciples went down to the sea, got into the boat, and started across the sea to Capernaum. It was now dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea became rough because a strong wind was blowing, and when they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they were terrified. But he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. Then they wanted to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the land toward which they were going. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. For those of you who are watching this on social media, please post your joys, concerns, and prayer updates in the comment section below. You can also text, private message, email, or call me with those, and they will be included in our next prayer time. First, two announcements. Work on the parking lot is continuing this week, um, and it's going well. Secondly, work is being done to renovate the narthex. The carpet is being taken off the walls, and the walls are being plastered and then painted white. So when you come to worship next, you will notice that the entrance way is very bright when it greets you coming in for the time of worship. For our joys, Sharon Denman has improved some and she is now back in rehab, so we pray for her continued recovery. For our concerns, Helen Watson has a relative named Carol who lost her sister-in-law. Prayers for Carol and for the extended family. We're also offering prayers for Sherwood Metter's sister and Judy Avancar's sister, both of whom have health concerns. Uh, Continued prayers for Fred and Corinne Dooley, as well as Jim and Catherine Morgan. Debbie Ginger's cousin, uh, whom we've been praying for, went into premature labor at 19 weeks. She lost one of the triplets uh, that she was carrying, but she um, is anticipating carrying the pregnancy to full term in hopes that the other two will be able to survive. Prayers for her cousin. We also lift up the unspoken concerns that are on your hearts and minds today. Our prayer is based on our gospel passage from John 6. Lord, we flock to you as the crowd on the shore. We are curious because we've heard what you can do. Some have come because they seek physical healing. You know the names of those we have mentioned, as well as those on our hearts and minds. Offer your healing touch to our loved ones. 
others that are in need of bread, work through the ministries of this church as we participate in outreach programs. All of us want to hear a word from you, Lord. Comfort us when we are discouraged. Laugh with us when we are joyful. Instruct us as you did the disciples of old. Hear us now as we pray as Christ taught them, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.